Okay, so that means you have negative 2x plus y equals 2 and negative x plus 3y equals negative 4. Oop, clean that up some. <coughs> We're going to make that 3 times negative 2x plus 3 times y equals 3 times 2. So just each one of those terms, you multiply it by 3. <coughs> so as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you didn't change the actual value of it, you just change how it looks. And this one, you keep it the same. Negative x plus 3y. Oop, did I mess up somewhere? Oops, should have been negative 3. That's where I messed up. There we go. Negative x plus 3y equals negative 4. Okay, so if we go ahead and simplify those, negative 3 and negative 2 is positive 6. So you have 6x minus 3y equals negative 6. And negative x plus 3y equals negative 4. which brings us to step number three, which is we're going to add those two together. Okay. So you have 6x minus 1x give you 5x. Negative 3y plus 3y is 0, which is exactly how we planned it. We knew that was going to disappear. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. So that gives us 5x equals 10. Okay. And divide both sides by 5. Anything divided by itself is just 1. So we have x equals 2. So steps 1, 2, and 3 are the hardest. Want to be negative 2? Did I miss? Oh, negative 2. Thank you. I forgot my negative 10 here. Okay. So, like I said, steps 1, 2, and 3 are the hardest. Once you get there, now you just plug in that x and solve for y. So plug x equals negative 2 into either equation to solve for y. Does it have to be the original 2? It can't go into the, um, like, 6x. It has to go into the negative x. Oh, if you want to plug it into the 6x, you could. Mm -hmm. It would just make it a larger number. Okay. Okay, so if we have negative 2x plus y equals 2, that becomes negative 2 times negative 2 plus y equals 2. Which gives you 4 plus y equals 2. Draw a little arrow there. So you subtract 4 from both sides. We have y equals negative 2. Okay. So you have your ordered pair solution of let's say ordered pair. solution of negative 2, negative 2. And again, you can check it if you like. You don't have to. All right. So any questions on that one? All 
right, leave that up for a few more seconds. We'll do one more example and call it a day. Actually, two more because this will be really quick. Both of them are shorter examples. Still writing, just like everyone's doing. Okay, so what if we want to solve the system? Say 2x minus y equals 7, and 8x minus 4y equals 1. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure at least one of those variables have opposite mm -hmm. coefficients which means we want to have either 8 and negative 8, or we can want to have 4 and negative 4. We want to have opposite, so that when we add them together, it disappears. So make one of the variables opposites. So we don't have to worry about step one because it's already in standard form. So we'll get rid of the x, so we'll multiply the first equation by negative 4. That'll give us negative 8 and 8. And again, we'll make that equation 1 and equation 2. So we'll multiply equation 1 by negative 4 to get rid of the x variable. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, so that would give us negative 4 times 2x minus negative 4 times y equals negative 4 times 7. And the second one will just stay the same. 8x minus 4y equals 1. Okay. Which means, if we go ahead and simplify that first one, we have negative 8x plus 4y equals negative 28, and 8x minus 4y equals 1. So you probably notice that if you add them together, all variables disappear. Okay, so this is actually our second step. This is our third step. So if you add them together, negative 8x plus 8x is 0. 4y minus 4y is 0. Is negative 27. So you have 0 equals negative 27, which we know is false. Okay. Now, if we know that it's all variables disappear and you're left with a false statement, what does that mean? Inconsistent. Yep, no solution, inconsistent. So when all variables disappear, And you are left with a false solution. I mean, false, yeah, false equation.
Oop, clean that up a little bit. Then there is no solution. Or it's inconsistent. Any questions on that one? Okay. So since we did an inconsistent, I mean, yeah, inconsistent, we now have to do a dependent, which you know that it will be left with a true equation after all the variables disappear. Okay. Leave that up for a few seconds. <coughs> done writing. So let's say for example if you wanted to solve three x minus two y equals two and negative nine x plus six y equals negative six. Okay. It's already in standard form. All the variables are already on the left-hand side. So we go right to step two. So we make a variable coefficient opposites. Okay. So we multiply this first one by negative 3, all of them by negative 3, and the 9s will cancel out. So yeah, I mean positive 3. And the 9s will cancel out. Actually, the y's will cancel out in this case also. Multiply equation 1 by 3. And make that equation 1 and equation 2. Okay. So that would give us 3 times 3x minus 3 times 2y equals 3 times 2. Now, the easiest mistake to make is to forget to multiply the other side of the equal sign. You want to make sure you get both sides. And negative 9x plus 6y equals negative 6. Okay, so if we go ahead and simplify that, I'll put it underneath it. We have 9x minus 6y equals 6. And we have negative 9x plus 6y equals negative 6. So you have a third step, which is just to add them together. Okay, so once you do that, 9x minus 9x is 0. Negative 6x, 6y plus 6y is 0. And 6 minus 6 is 0. So you're left with 0 equals 0, which is true. So just like before, when all the variables disappear and you're left with a true statement, that's when you know it's dependent or you have an infinite number of solutions. So when all variables disappear, leaving a true statement, have infinite solutions. Or a dependent system. Okay. So are there any questions?
Did everyone sign in? Okay. If everyone signed in and there are no questions, I will see you all on Wednesday. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and ask away. How you doing? I'm good, you. Good, okay, so I have some good news and I have some bad news. Um, <laughs> I might have to drop a class. I'm not planning on it. Okay. Because uh, I went to this job offer and they haven't contacted me yet. Okay. Hopefully everything goes good, but mm -hmm. just letting you know. Oh, okay. And I'll let you know before it happens. Okay. If it does happen. All right. Well, mm -hmm. wish you luck. You thank you. So hopefully it all works out. Hopefully it does. <laughs> I thank you, but I, I'm learning a lot, man. So I'm learning. Okay. The big pressure. Oh, yeah. My 70, I haven't been there in like what, two, three years. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How different is that in this class? Uh, you use a lot of what you learned in math 70 in here. It's just, it's more applied here. Yeah. yeah. No problem. Except yeah. That last semester, so I was just in the same class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not ready for. I'm not ready for that. I just uh, have a quick question. Sure.